So about nine years ago, I remember I was graduating from Bible college and uh, I wanted to be in ministry. And for some reason that year, I couldn't find any church positions for me to, to fall into. And, and I ended up working in this lumber yard uh, from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning. And it was not a, a fun job at all. And I remember being angry and asking God, you know, why, why is this happening? You know, I, I want to follow you, I want to serve you. And, and um, I don't understand why I'm here. And then I remember I had, um, during my break, I saw on the paper that uh, there was this men's shelter nearby that was hiring for intake workers. And so I applied and I remember my first interview was at some small little room and you know I didn't think anything of it, it wasn't anything special. But uh, my second interview was at the men's shelter. I remember the shelter was very uh, stinky. It was, it was it was sometime in July, so it was warm, and and I, I don't know if you've ever smelled um, stinky socks before, mixed with sweat and urine and all sorts of things. But the shelter was rich with smells, and I remember uh, as I was walking felt the Lord speak to me and say, you know, EJ, this is the smell of people I love. I'll go love them. And so I, I, I started in this crazy adventure of serving people in the margins. And they taught me all sorts of stuff about grace and love and, and, and how God interacts with them. And it was just this incredible journey to, to see, you know, what what the good news is all about to people who really need good news. I mean, 90% of the youth that I worked with in the shelter were crystal meth addicts. No, but then another discovery came. I went through another transition time in ministry and then um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted, wanted to do next. And I remember first thing came out of my lips. I was chatting with somebody and said, you know, I'd love, I'd love to go back to Toronto. And, uh, I wanted to serve the poor and I wanted to be in the city and, and you know, oddly enough, I think this was a divine desire to be here in the city and, and so the past little while I've been here, I've been serving the poor, I've been being here with people, I, I live in a great neighborhood, I've been getting to know my neighbors and uh, just trying to be a light in the city. Then I re remember a few years ago, I chatted with Mission Canada and we were talking about urban ministry. And so I told them, I'd, I've been here in the city, I've been doing all this stuff. And then they they asked, you know, maybe would you like to come on board? And then I, I thought about it and I prayed about it. You know, I, I, was, I was in a good spot. Um, I was working at Evergreen Center for Street Youth. We were doing some pretty uh, incredible things. We were serving drug dealers and prostitutes and, and pimps and, and kids with heavy addictions. And you know, but I just had this sense that uh, I had to strongly consider it because this wasn't just about serving the poor anymore and serving the city. It was also about serving the fellowship. Now I. I've fully come to grips with the idea that I am a spirit-filled believer. And uh, to my discovery, I realized that this is actually our roots. Um, the birthplace of the POC started with people who were in the margins, seeking out after God in the city right here in Toronto. Actually, literally from this location, just down the street. That's what this ministry is about. This ministry is about trying to capture our city. And maybe 
the best way to capture it. It's not nothing new. It's not some new uh, new strategy for for reaching people who don't know Christ. Maybe it's just right embedded in our history. Maybe if we serve the poor and call after God in the downtown core, we'll see God move again. And that's what I want to do. That's what I want, what I want to be part of as an urban missionary for Mission Canada here in downtown Toronto. It's my desire for people to see and catch a vision, to serve people on the margins and be here and be in the city and be a light. So my name is EJ and I am the urban missionary for downtown Toronto.